Uh, salutations, my friends, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we're playing as that beautiful Broken Coast, even though now we have more coastline than the beginning of last episode. Regardless, we were trying to finish up Drums of War in terms of a focus tree, as well as, well, we took out the Whistler people last time, Camlo, and cored all their territory, which was a great benefit to us. And let us choose a new focus. And we have vacuum tubes done as well, keeping up the pace, cool. Savage tossers, awesome. Let's continue going down. Enemy in the north, four against the dredgers, why not? The dredgers have ruled their corner of the north for a long, long time. Prince George is well fortified and resistant to the blizzards of endless white. And its access to the river gives it a constant source of supply, even when the water freezes over. Inside their territory lies much metal and other resources that can be used to build our fleet. We have never fought, only scuffle. But their mere existence prevents us from do dominating the North. If we must kill them to claim the Northern Crown, so be it. A great thing to happen. Let's go and get some primitive radios. Even though it was from the yesterday's comments, someone said, We're actually not, you know, Vikings weren't actually that, you know, backwards. They were pretty darn civilized. They had their unique, unique civilization. We're educated, of course, now. But uh, Vikings were not too uncivilized. They just, they had their own way of doing things. We'll put it like that. And someone recommended I use laser guns and focus a little bit more on my naval doctrine, which is not a bad idea. Uh, let's see, Vault City. We still have three more for land doctrines to get through, but I still want to focus a little bit more on ships as well, because we're going to need some capital ships. Some good old capital ships. Right now, instead of you guys doing that, go ahead and train. We're going to need as much naval XP as possible. So, we might as well train. We're not even making any more ships right now anyways. Ooh, doggos. Do we have enough doggos? Uh, animal observations are nice. More army breakthrough. Let's grab some night stalker tactics for more army recovery rate. And better out of supply when we do get out of supply. So, we'll see what happens with that. Enemy in the north. I love how fast old world blues is sometimes. Just goes by. Zoom, zoom. Cool. Let's see. Hope you're having a great day. What do we need, though, right now? We have plenty of infantry armor, which is awesome. Am I really stuck at 48% stability? We're still at war, of course. Let's see. That's 50% minus. 40, 54, 59, 61, 63% minus in terms of stability. Because of cultural upheaval, war, organized slavery, scum and villainy, outsider battalions, and raided conscripts. So that's not really good for us. Uh, we could be getting a raid, but at this point, I don't even want to raid. I just want to kill them off. I just want to kill them all off. Now, last time, they had like some sort of anti-broken coast agreement. So... They have non-aggression packs with each other, everyone in the north. But that doesn't mean they're not going to help each other out. So I'm a little apprehensive in terms of attacking, but... I mean, we don't have any soldiers near Coover, so... Um, how do I cancel this? I kind of want to cancel it. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, and see the Brotherhood? Cool. Just do that, then. Nope. New army just... Oops. Nope. No, no, no. Come right there. Just in case. There you go. Right there. Yeah, never know. Uh, Joseph the Spider? Cool. Less max entrenchment, whatever. Uh, life survivalists. Infantry. Attacking defense is only 3%. Hmm. Not much, but we'll take it. I'll take it. Why not? Enemy in the north? Great. And then we can do put to the soul. New Victoria is considered by many to be a safe haven. Despite its seat of power being squarely in our waters, their well-maintained defenses and active navy may have prevented us from conquering them. But today marks the end of an era of safety for those weaklings. We shall probe their coastline for weaknesses and strike the neglected northern ports. Once they're at their weakest, the false queen will fall. Which I do want to go to war with them, but I want capital ships first before we do anything against their navy. Because their navy probably isn't super, super weak. They have 46 destroyers. Or... Battle cruisers, I should really say. Uh, let's see, up here, you guys are done pretty much doing whatever you need to do. You guys are pretty much ready to go as well. Uh, we have an open hole right here. Ooh, sidle one eye. Longboat holes are great. Gunslingers are probably what we're going to choose. Never mind awareness because I want as much recon as possible. Okay, grab more defense too. Why not? You have up to 11 recon? Never enough. Never, 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 never enough. Uh, multi deck construction? Great. We have plenty of political power too. Hmm. We don't really need to justify war goal right now. Actually, Fault of Navy produce things a little bit faster, maybe? Uh, let's get some more organization. That'd be fine with me for now. East Clare 1, Eastport. I really don't think they're going to call anyone else into the war. Oh, wait, hold on. So they take Claim State, Unbroken Resistance Pack Signatory, get more stability. The other people who signed a pact with them activate Send Volunteers to Support Dredgers, modify it by sending support element. Okay, cool. See what we can do. Maybe we will win in some places. Maybe we won't. Hopefully we'll do okay. But we do have a few planes we could use. So. We'll see about that. And we have an airport anywhere up here at all. 
That is okayish range? Not really. Ooh. And we're doing a good amount of damage. Over here will be fine. If we can get that air base, that'd be great. A song from the front. Broken Coast forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Please, more political power. I would love thee. Prince George will soon fall. Actually, we do have that. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab you then. And put you over here. Nice. Even better range. The Sheet Declare War in Victoria. Okay, well, that's interesting to say the least. Oh, we lost the airbase. God dang it. Come over here then. I don't want to deal with doing stuff like that. Oh, we got encircled. That sucks. Uh, get over there and then come up here then. That's fine. You go there. There, there. We're going to rescue Prince the soldiers stuck at Prince George. Uh, yeah, no. Force the attack. Come on. Eastport was annexed. Oh, we might be able to actually encircle them first. No, oh, no, we didn't. Take Prince George. Standardized tools? Cool. Let's grab some more backyard workshops. That'd be great. Now, they're going to come in here. But that's fine with me. I don't really care right now. Uh, just keep trying to kill them as fast as much as possible. 288 versus more than double. Good. Now, they are getting probably some, some help. Let's see. You guys come right here. Force the attack. Force it. Because I want to circle this robotic division. Or robot division. And pretty much kill them off. Nice. Brute the Brute. Do you have anything else for us? No, they do not. Strong back. That's not really great to use, though. That's really different. There, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, let's give our guys a little, maybe a little bit more training. Yes, yes, put to the sword. Very good. Oh, look at that. Uh, more territory will be taken. Good, 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 good. Actually, our guys are training. Um, actually, what, wait, what did I do right there? What the heck? Stay under them. Stay under them. That'd be good. You guys come up here. Go right there. If we can circle three divisions. I thought there was two here. That's cool. Three divisions would be nice to encircle. Good. Put to the sword. So we have that just in case. Let's come back up here and do uh, build the fleet. With his new port fully operational, Ragnar has laid out a series of plans for the construction of a vast fleet named the Black Flag Fleet. He believes a large modern fleet will make our pirates much more formidable and plans to bankroll the project through sponsored privateering with his new vessels. With this plan, we essentially receive free crews and monthly repay repayments on our loan ships. Brilliant. Glorious and brilliant. Hey, look at that. Die now. School. We got some radio done. Awesome. You guys go here. Cut those guys off. Uh, any more things right now? Oh, reinforce rate. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm focusing on this a lot more just because last time we became civilized, which was great. Oh, we can destroy enemy suggested divisions or, you know, just volunteers. Suggested divisions. Where am I thinking? Where am I thinking? What am I thinking? I am not thinking at all right now. Now we don't ever have to do with those two divisions and they're all going to die. Yay. It's division two. That's the case. I'm just gonna throw you guys right here. Uh, actually, I'm not, because this is not looking good right here. So do that, do that, do that, do that. Fort Nelson. Oh god, that's gonna take forever to kill off. Take forever. How many ships does this group have? Let's see. Uh, they have a good amount. They probably actually have more than us. So just keep training for now. Kind of ignore them if you can. Let's go right there. Cool. You guys are going in there. Great. Just a matter of time before they all die. Anyway, we like it. They've lost 2,000, 2,300, we've lost 682. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And they're all going to die right here. Oh, look at all the volunteers. They sent volunteers literally just to die in the north. What more could you ask for? Nice soccer tactics. Great, let's grab some Kazador Phantom. I'll say this every time we get it. I hate Kazadors, man. I hate them. Evil little things. Cultural people? Oh, uh, that seems... Yeah, that actually, that's probably good for us. We might get less research speed now, but that's okay. Local leaders, we're going to go with Legendary Wastelanders next. Good. We now we only get 1.51 political power today, which is not bad. I love killing off their divisions. It's so it's so nice. It's so nice. Go ahead and do that. Your goal is to get up there as fast as possible. Go, 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 go. Alright, very good. Uh, we still want to take out Heidi Confederation, but basically to do that, we have to go to with Bellingham at the same time, so that kind of sucks. Uh, this is a case. I want you to actually just go straight up north and cut all of these guys off, which are kind of annoying, to be honest with you. We're about to get paid soon. We could raid the coasts. The people of New Victoria have lived in relative safety compared to those in the Endless White. They do not fear our flag nor the sight of our boats. We must teach them to fear us before we can lord over them. The coastlines are vast, far too vast for our army, uh, New, New Victoria might have, to effectively protect. This makes them the perfect starting place or peace for a campaign of terror. 80% chance of success, 20% chance of failure. Ooh. Multi deck construction. Let's grab some triremes. Nice. Raid the coast. We could do that. We're going we're gonna to wait, though. 68%. Mm, more stability. Nice. 
capture the Lost Hills Bunker. Well, at least we've got a positive amount of stability right now. Infantry equipment is looking not great, actually, so let's buy some more. Supply line, too, thank you. Simple circuitry is always good. How about even more research speed? Just for complicated circuitry. Yes, please. Now we cut these guys off, which is awesome. We probably don't we still don't have enough infantry equipment, which is fine. Infantry armor is actually looking okay, though. Uh, we're gonna do that. Do that right there. Eh, that might be a bit too much. There you go. Keep producing, keep producing. Uh, you're all coming this way. Okay, then. Keep going. You guys are over there, and then you guys are just, well, doing the best you possibly can. Cool, and now let us do Tartantalus's gain for more civilian workshops. Tantalus's pain is a small city in the coast that needs to be expanded to be able to host our growing fleets. Adding factories is a good start to making it a major city. Glorious. And I do have a cup of a... A cup of decaf coffee here to keep us nice and warm in the endless white up here in the north. Oh my goodness, this has got to be freezing. Oh. Not bad. Personally, I prefer re regular caffeinated coffee, but yeah, that's what we got for today. I'll throw you right there. You fall? You're done? No, you're not. Right there. Keep going, keep going. Uh, yeah, that's enough planning bonus I need. And we can go to war with the High Confederation, wherever we want. It's kind of nice. Whenever we feel like it. Good, good, good. Slowly but surely winning. And then probably the High Confederation, even though fighting against Bellingham might be a little bit of a nuisance. They have quite a bit of manpower. They have a lot of divisions compared to us. Quite a few. And we're building a lot of roads. Okay, then. Mm, Tantalus is gaining. Great. Build some more stuff up here. More divisions, don't mind if we do. And next up we shall do... Ancient Raiders. Eh, that's okay. That seems okay. Yeah, we can kind of wait. Full speed ahead, factory output, construction speed, yes please. Ever to become a superpower in the region, then we must focus our efforts on pushing out more weapons, armor, and ships. We, our industry will rival that of the pit. 10% more output. Not bad, we could use, definitely use more firearms right now, so... Thank you. And we have 61 caps to do that, which is fine with me. There's going to be a lot of territory that we're going to have to core later on, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Whatever. Alright, we could go to war with New Victoria. Oh, now we have enough? No, we don't. Why well, could we still outdated equipment? Well, it's looking a little better. Not great, but a little better. And actually, are we using these guys yet? No, we're not. Hmm. There you go. Let's save a little bit on manpower. Save a little bit on that more. Hopefully this doesn't go up too much more. Uh, how big is New Victoria's army? Because their navy is obviously better than ours. I'm probably going to go to war with Bellingham first. Yeah, a thousand. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so here's what we're probably going to have to do. 14, go right here. Kind of sucks, I know. I'm going to have you guys defend right there. I'm going to cut you guys down in half. Stack them up. And then have you guys come right here. That might be what we have to do. How uh, is the capabilities of our navy going? We need triremes, because I don't want to go to war until we have triremes, so. Let's let time go on. We have minus 110 caps, so be it. We got some of that. Let's grab some refined tools for more, even more dockyard output, which would be great, great, great. What was that? Hmm. We got plenty of political power right now. Uh, oh, we can build a fleet. Oh, yes. Use five civilian factories. The fleet will be constructed. Nice. So as we're still trying to build that stuff up too. Whatever. Uh, really enforcers. With doggos. Thank you. Thank you. Full speed ahead with master builders. Some of our slaves have shown understanding in construction. Free those who can build and make them master builders. We will have a workforce of the best builders with the docility of a slave. We can fortify the chaos, which is okay. Great cons join the NCR. Everyone wants to join the NCR now. What's a faction map mode look like? Even Vault City joined the NCR. A faction. That's a pretty big NCR faction, not gonna lie. And Kaiser is struggling against the Dam Busters. That's fine. Oh yeah, and the Brotherhood is gone, so that makes sense. Even New Klamath is in the NCR. Let's grab some encryption. As much as I said I want to focus on my naval stuff, some of this industry stuff we just gotta focus on, period, so. Uh, we're done with that. Let's grab some proficient mercenaries. And then battle hardened soldiers. We actually lose political power. And then Military Academy Officers. We lose, lose even more political power, but we do get maybe slightly more organization. Triremes are nice. Bregs are very good. Very, very good. Uh, we could make these... I don't know. I don't think they're really worth it right now. They're pretty weak. We could throw on ores. 
But we need to actually research, like, stuff to put on them first. So we'll give it just a little bit more time. Ah, are you a master builder? I don't play with Legos too often. Ah, master building. Keep up the pace. Power armor. Rite of passage. We could get more manpower. We might need to actually do that later on. Slaves of the Coast. Oh, actually, manpower right there. Not bad. I doubt there's anything we can do down here. Yeah, we gotta go to war with New Victoria first. Yeah. Put them to work. Elite slaves. Slaves rights? Slaves, they, they get rights? What? Ooh, purification stations. Let's do salvaging the ruins. And then we send some slaves into the bigger ruins to find anything we can use. We get caps and 10% more resource efficiency gain. Which we don't really need. But it looks like we'll need it for water soon, so. We can only, only get 1.39. We get some cast of our venom. And we shall finish off our land doctrine with Deathclaw Ferocity. Just because... Well, I think we, we really could use it. Now, with this Deathclaw Ferocity, we could be using Special Forces. I'm debating Power Armor versus Special Forces. Even though I consider all of our forces, our, you know, our entire army, really just kind of special, period. Uh, go ahead and trade if you need it. But, because we're, we're raiding bands. If I send out Special Forces, like Spec Ops, those are already Special Forces. Ooh, the Black fr Flag Frigate. Ooh. Wait, can I make that, or do we already have that unlocked? Wait, what is that? Oh... Nice. This is the type of capital ship we want to see. Nice. It's not perfect, obviously. Mid one custom cannons. Huh. We already have sails on them. That's not pretty. That's pretty good. That's your seagulls. Nothing else we can really throw on here. Uh, there's nothing else we can really throw on. So I guess we'll make. Let's make two of them. I guess for now we can make another. Since we have that, we're probably not gonna make triremes then. Cool. It, it really doesn't matter where they spawn at. So. Goodbye, and then goodbye. Oh, now we need more. Oh my gosh. That costs so much water. Holy smokerinos. That's a lot of water that we don't have. The Scourge Traders out distrust them. We'll probably do every cap of the army. Oh, we're scavenging the ruins. We got polyalphabetic ciphers now. And complicated circuitry. Hey, we need purification stations, and we can find them. For far too long, people have suffered from dehydration, from the lack of clean water no longer. With this decree, we will start construction of a series of great purifiers. Great. Let's grab some decryption, but now we really have to start focusing a little bit more on this stuff here. Uh, let's grab some detection and communication training. That'd be kind of good. For now, are you guys still training? Yes, you are. Ooh. Ah, oh, the black sail flag. Okay. Oh, you guys are just destroyers, aren't you? Yeah, these are just, not destroyers, light screens. They're just screens. Huh. Well, so be it. Whatever. Gilbert, do you have any upgrades? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, he's kind of generic. Gilbert Bolton. You guys could probably still win here if you get attacked. Uh, what are you guys looking up here? I just don't want to get raided or my convoys destroyed. Really want to make sure we got a really good navy. Oh, we're barely making stuff here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we need those purification stations online now. We're going to do probably Port Cove, maybe. That's a nice Canadian pipeline. Ooh, that's not bad. I kind of like that. Detection and communication training. Grab some long-range optics. We might as well. Uh, what else we got around here? Anything for resources? Fort and find the coast. Eh, we can do this one, maybe. Reverse fleets. Keeping up pace. Savage tossers. That's not bad. Rite of passage. We're running out of things to do here. Ah, do slaves for the coast. Why not? Yeah, why not? Our warriors are too busy raiding and plundering to be to work at home. We must bring in more slaves to work the pathetic jobs. We, we just get slaves. Just straight up slaves. Slave master is not bad. We can probably make some more water stuff. Frequency analysis. Let's grab some uh, Mernitri circuitry for more research speed. <clears throat> that would be very good. I could just go to war now, but... Mm, do they have capital ships? Yeah, they do. It's, it's not good. We, yeah, I, I gotta get capital ships first. I mean, we could go to war with them. They, all they would do is just destroy my navy. Which obviously isn't very good. Raid the coasts. Oh, uh, we can see. It's 80% chance of winning. 40 days. We might as well try that first, right? We could raid them. Raid them. We tried that before. It didn't go super bueno. We still need some more infantry equipment. So let's do this. That'd be kind of nice. We got three more divisions here. Throw them on this army over here because they're going to need it. Cool, cool, cool. And then after that, we will probably do... Uh, put them to work. 
let's do Ancient Raiders. Since the founding of the Broken Coast, we've been in the terror of the seas. Recent discoveries within North Cooper have revealed some of the tactics used by our ancestors. That's probably a good thing. Let's go ahead and grab some of this. Paddle steamers. That's a little bit ahead of time. Uh, let's do some naval doctrine as well. It's not that big. That'll be good. And anti-tank. There's so much we have to research and do. Oh my goodness. We've got some reinforced rate. That'll be good as well. Slay us to the coast. And then we already read this. We'll put them to work. No. No. Ancient raiders. That'll be good. Raiding coast. We'll see what happens. And military academy officers. No. I want to come down here and do every cap for the army. So we get a few more things we can use down here. Which would be nice. Very, very nice. 60, 20. My goodness. It's going to take forever to get all this stuff done. Oh, my goodness. Really just out of resources. I could trade away, like, stuff. I could prioritize, like, where we're going to build, like, infrastructure to get more resources. But just keep producing stuff for now. We'll be fine. We'll be more than fine. October 9th, 2280. Water has gotten better. That's good. That is very good. But the next thing we're going to research is upgraded purification stations so we get even more water. Victoria's coasts are broken. Blood, blood everywhere. That was the fate that has, bef that has befallen the coastline of New Victoria. Our raiding groups have totally broken the people in their outlying villages. Now our rowboats can dock anywhere along the coast without fear of having to fight their way ashore. Now we can move on to plan more ambitious raids against more built-up and well-defined areas. Ooh, army XP and a bonus for land doctrine as well as naval doctrine. Too bad we're done with our naval doctrine. Raid the ports. A 70% chance of victory. Now that we've terrorized the coastlines, it's time to intensify our campaign against the more defensible areas, the ports, and the towns. Raiding these locations will prove more difficult due to a higher concentration of forces, but the rewards are well worth the risks. Well, we'll see what happens. Ancient raiders are done. A diverse fleet? We need more water. With the first steps taken, we can now expand even more. Our fleet will be grand. And naval weapon module technology. Cool. Uh, 1.39. That's still pretty good. And looks like we're slowly getting some of our manpower back, even though we are mobilizing just slightly, slightly more. Cool. Looking pretty good, except for infantry equipment, which is pretty normal. Eh, this is go going okay. Long-range optics. Go ahead and just max out optics for now. It doesn't really matter. I will upgrade the ships as soon as we get all the upgrades done, which is going to take some time, so it is what it is. And that's why we're doing our naval doctrine as well, because that's very good to do. That's very, very good. Death Cloud Ferocity. Great. Briggs? Well, I don't know about that. Cool. So we're done with that. So we got the Briggs, right? We got Briggs. Actually, Briggs... Uh, actually, we could probably start making Briggs. That'd probably be actually pretty darn good. Uh, stim packs, train dogs. Yeah, you might as well do this now so that we can just get the benefits immediately. So Briggs are actually... We're okay with using them because they're kind of capital ships. Do that. Do that. God dang it. Now we need more naval XP. Mm. Goodbye. Longboat hulls. So since this is a black flag frigate, they're not that. So really, we don't need this. Which is fine. Hopefully we can raid the ports and be successful. It'd be disappointing if we were not successful. So, a diverse fleet. And then we shall do... Uh, raiding experience. We have more raiding experience than anyone else in the wasteland. I'd like to see someone try to stop us. Even three more water. Looking a little better there. Looking slightly, slightly better. This is taking forever. Which is pretty darn normal. August 27th. Not bad. As long as we get more and more water, that is good. <sighs> These things cost a lot of water. Jesus Christ. Is it really worth making them? Maybe not. But then again, we I don't know. Has joined the... The sh... Alright. Alright. She... Keep going to war with people. See what happens. I guess we're... Co-belligerents in the war against the she with the NCR. Go figure. Really? Just go figure. <laughs> the great cons. They want to come up here. Mmm... I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Safe munition storage. I did say I want to get uh, purification stations, but we're going to go immediately do river fleet just so that our ships are light screens. Our light screens are screens, and light ships are okay. And then the next one after this, probably after miniaturized circuitry, then we'll get the purification stations. It'll be better. I really don't want to trade away for this, and we can't really, so... Hey, minus 95, not great. <laughs> really not that great, but whatever. Tamer of the Seas, Terror of the Seas. Our ships have far outpaced every other faction in the Wasteland. Our hold over these areas, or seas, are complete. Anyone who enters our waters risks our wrath. Good. Ace Clear Worm. Oh! Now, the, now they're all going to be fighting over there. Nice. Very nice. 
Domination of the ports. The ports of Golden Peaks lies in ruins. Our raiding parties have wiped any life from it from existence. And most of the buildings are a smoldering wreck. The only structure left intact is the port itself, a structure that will help us in the future. In the meantime, however, we will leave the port alone. We don't want to provoke an all-out pitch battle when we can't yet win it. Good. Oh, uh, yeah, go and do that. Fine. Uh, you know what? Since we don't have enough uh, things for that right now, that's okay. Uh, Briggs. Let's improve our Briggs if we can. Any armor? There's a... Eh, it's okay armor for now. That's okay storage for now. That's fine. Just use... It. Oh, man, that speed is god-awful. Wow. 5.4? Oh, good lord. Don't even make that. Just use these for now. That reduces the amount of water we do need, which is good. So, let's go ahead and come down here. I said I'd do it, so let's do it now. Power stations. Purification stations. Usually it's power stations that we really, really need to focus on, but it's not this time, which is awesome. Seize Winter Harbor. Ooh! Winter Harbor is far from New Victoria's heartland. Isolated and rich. It's, it's ripe for the taking by a coordinated invasion, but the question is, how should we do it? There are three plans. Operation Blizzard. Get a claim on Winter Harbor. Uh, during the planning event, we may choose one of three plans. Seize Winter Harbor. Ooh. Oh, we get that immediately. I thought we had to wait a few days for that. Cool. And just going to grab this if we can. Radar arrays. So, we now have dominance over the coast and have shown ourselves capable of the capture of port towns. It's now time to ramp it up a gear. The port of the Winter Harbor is rich but isolated. Perfect for our ticking. Three plans have been proposed by radar captains. One to use a seizure of the Winter Harbor as a part of an escalation of war. One to seize a harbor as a base of prepared for a war in the future, and one to seize a harbor and leave as a show of strength. Each have merit, but which man shall succeed? A wide invasion. Three Raider Divisions seize Winter Harbor with a fourth landing in Golden Heights. It's time to declare war on New Victoria. Is this Winter Harbor over here? It is. Oh, that seems a little different than normal. Is it? Is it? There's a, is there usually really a big old hole here? Hmm. Maybe there is. We seize loot and leave Winter Harbor coated in blood. A target to strike. Two Raider Divisions. Um, I kind of like a wide invasion. We get four divisions and Golden Heights. Go oh, Golden Peaks. Golden Peaks. Hmm. How strong are these guys? Because they can just Shrek us. I'm just going to say a, a targeted strike. There we go. We should do something like that. Seizing Winter Harbor. Uh, effects when removed. Two Raider divisions seize Winter Harbor. Cool. And they might go to war with us for 100 days, less planning speed, less division pre preparation time, which is fine. <sighs> Just trying to build up boats. It takes forever. Oh my goodness. I get more manpower back, though. That's good. God, we need purification stations. Energies. Oh, this actually improves your energy so cap cap capabilities or capacity. That's kind of nice. I didn't realize that. Terror of the Seas. And then after that, we shall do... Uh, Port Cove? Uh, let's do Savage Tossers. The Raiders of the Broken Coast can make anything into a weapon. And here we will go. Great. We can turn anything into a weapon that we want. Purebred Mutts, we can use them immediately. Uh, we can do that too. Someone recommended I use laser guns. Well, I don't know. We already tried this. Let's go ahead and do some Enforcer Suppression first. That'll be fine with me. So, better doggos. Thank you. Get some more uh, divisions. It'd be nice. You guys are right there. U6 are over here. Put them where the five are at. Long range radio. Let's grab some encryption. And then the next one we'll do some more naval stuff. Because we're doing ra radar raids, but still. We still have other stuff we could do. Hopefully we get the port. I really hope we do. And infantry command is looking okay. It's looking definitely okay now. Uh, Occupied territories. Well, only dredgers. Cool. And they're finally looking okay. Pretty compliant. Not perfect yet. But they're... Oh my goodness. Liberated. Oh, okay, so the 80s lost. And the Wendover Republic. Protect on Security Hub. Oh, that seems like the wrong location for them. Gift of our forefathers. Uh, protect on Security Hub in defense of the homestead. Our light. Ooh. Noman tribes. Cool. New Hammond, of course. Grab your territories back. It's fine. Let's go ahead and grab Military Academy officers because we can. Yes, please. Oh, wait. We want to do that. And we wanted to go to Distrust Outsiders. Whoops, my bad. We'll do that next time. Savage tossers, and then we'll go to Tools of the Waste. We found an old cache of tools hidden within a old with an old shipwreck. That's nice. It's very nice. Keep making more stuff right there. That'd be fine. Can I really not trade for water? Like, that's so sad. Also, take over Petro Chico. Cool. Well, we'll go to war with whoever. Uh, that's fine. Do that one. Whenever we're done raiding the New Victoria. If we have a, an island here already, we'll just take that. We might as well just go to war with them. We got like 41 days left. I could go to war with Bellingham Union right now. But we and we do okay. I'm just worried about these guys. That's all I'm worried about. Just those guys. 
God, we need more water. Can we at least get one frigate out? They're not even a capital ship. CPC training. Anything else around here? Let's get a ram. Get some more ores. Oh, man. Screw it. We can at least make one of these. It's so incredibly slow, though. We need even more water. Jesus Christ. Uh, heavy melee weaponry. We could do that. More breakthrough would also be very nice. Engineering. We could do some more extraction. Let's do that. Steam-powered extraction. That would be probably pretty helpful for for now. Let's go to modifications, and we'll do side channel attack. That'd be good. Please let us take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. We got a little, about roughly a month. Roughly a month. There goes the damn buses. Finally taken out. Finally taken out. Cool. Tools of the waste. And keeping up the pace. Ever to become the scourge of the seas, then we must be at keep our industry at the top of its game. Having our best minds work on ways to improve our industry should uh, suffice. So we'll get 1.32. That's pretty good. These guys are going to be a pain in the butt to take out. You guys are still training. That's fine. You guys don't need more time. Uh, yeah. Come on. Can we just take this off for now? Keeping up the pace. And then just as outsiders, we get 25% more resources to use. Which will be beneficial to our circuitry as well. It won't be perfect, but it'll be pretty good. Water, well, it'll definitely help us out. Exported. Radar arrays are great. We're done with that. Let's see if we can throw on some coach guns, maybe. Let's see what happens with that stuff. We need more naval XP, god dang it. Oh, crap, they go, wait, they go straight to war with us. Wait, when are they, okay, okay. We actually made another black flag frigate. Cool, stop training, do this. Do that. Take that off, go home, hang out, have a good time. I didn't realize that they'd actually go to war with us, so, so be it. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, have you guys come right here. Go ahead. You two. Under Quentin Numbers. I think we used them before. Yeah, we have. You guys go right there and do that and go right ahead if you can. Cool. If that's the case. Ooh, I don't want to lose these divisions, but I'm going to pull them out so they don't get convoy raided around here, so. If you can, just don't die in the water. I want you to do... Yeah, convoy rating, that'd be good. Side channel attack is great. We could get some radar. We're going to wait on that. Uh, are we still doing our naval doctrine? Yes, we are. That's good. In the meantime, naval stuff. Let's grab some sails. Yeah, let's grab some sails. Oh, we've been found out. That's not good. Please hurry up, guys. Just don't die in the water. And don't lose the port. Oh, god dang it. God dang it. Don't... Come on. Get over here more quickly. Keeping up the pace is good. River Fleet, nice. Where to find the coast is okay. Let's do Port Cove. Earl's Cove is one of our minor cities, but we can grow up by putting a port within it. It'll become a major trading port for our people. Good. And coastal patrols. More surface detection would be awesome. Yeah, you guys gotta stop attacking. That's so stupid. God dang it. Flip. Get over here. We might lose Winter Harbor for now, but that, that's so stupid. Just hold on for now. Now you show up, you pieces of crap. Now you show up, you take too long to show up, man. You honestly take way too long to show up. Get over here. Take the port back. Be incredibly violent with your attacks. You're raiders, for God's sakes. As long as they don't raid us too harshly, that's good. Alright, Joseph the Spider. Hey, we overran a couple divisions. Go there. If we can encircle them, great. If not, whatever. Basic well pumps, great. Let's grab the next one to get more water. Because at this point, we got to start making some of this stuff. Uh, 10%, whatever. Just do it right there. I don't really care. Hopefully their divisions aren't that great. Come on, guys. Keep going. They might natively land against us, but I don't really care. All right, let's go ahead and do this, too. Oh, we need 150. That's fine. Cool. Nice, we actually won. We actually overran them. Wow, we're fast. Wow, 11,000 from the NCR. 800 from us. Good. We've lost 11 guys against New Victoria. So be it. So be it. Uh, how about two? You guys are fine. Force the attack. Kill them off. 
Uh, we can send out manual prospectors to see what happens. Because colony, very cool. Keep it up for Cove, and let's do Canadian pipelines. Recently we found old pipelines used by Canada before the war. If we can salvage them, it'll give us a great boon to our resources. Which does not include water, but whatever. Alright, seems like we're doing pretty well. So far, how strong is a new Victorian army? Seal of Vertebrate, a thousand manpower, that's not bad, they're gonna lose that though. They have a good amount of divisions, but they're not using all of them against us right now. What are you... Why are you all over there? Do we have any planes we could use? Hopefully. Oh boy, it sounds like we're getting naval invaded. Oh, we got plenty of planes. South Columbia, huh? North... Wait, what? What the hell? What? Oh, come on. Well, it's a good thing we caught a lot of different places. Oh, well, they invade me, I invade them, you know, whatever. Oh, they're gonna lose those guys. They're gonna regret doing that. And they're gonna regret doing that up there, too. Let's see, you guys over there. I'm glad I sent you guys home. Yep, at least they're not gonna have all their divisions. Well, they're gonna lose all their divisions by the time we're done with them. That'd be great. Just go there. Just destroy all of them. We're taking North Cooper back. Oh, they threw in so, too many divisions here. Oh, they're going to lose them. Oh, so nice. Actually, resource-wise, minus 65. Let's come here and do that. Minus 65. Uh, got about 60 more. It's not bad. It's slightly more circuitry. Good. And we got North Cooper back, basically. Coach guns. Grab some heavy machine guns. That'd be nice. There you go. Good. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Uh, let's see. Take you out. Put you guys around... Well, there you go. I'll take you guys out and put you right there. So they have plenty of space here. And they can do hopefully enough damage. Canadian pipelines are great. Let's do putting them to work. Now that we have the slaves, we, need to put them, we just need to put them to work. Starting with repairing any random junk we could possibly use. Which is, eh, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Cool. Getting some more air XP as well. But once we have this done, then we can finally, come on, come on, uh, Dawn of a New Age, and then Reunite Vancouver, which would be great, and then Seattle's Purge. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Found some enemy ships we could bomb, maybe just a wee bit. Ooh, look at that. Admiral, Admiral Shaville Shackleton. Man, can you imagine your first name being Admiral, and you become an Admiral? It's just like, you're destined for that job. Some kind of crazy, but, you know, that's just me. Admiral, Admiral. Any other upgrades? Oh, yes. Quentin Numbers. Yes, yes. Uh, rooted. Pain Train. Uh, I guess we go Rooted. Hold on. Let's see. 14.4. 19. Uh, yeah. Ghost 2. Oh, we need more infantry equipment, huh? Well, time to buy some more. Yeah, we're out a little bit, which is not ideal. We got plenty of anti-tank, though. Do we have anti-tank? No, we don't. There we go. That should have had at least a little bit somewhere here, right? Good. Still trying to navally invade us, whatever. Yes, let them send all their divisions this way. They'll find out the hard way that that's a bad, bad idea. Um, you could just kill this division off. They keep navally invading, but okay, whatever. I don't really care. They should be running out of manpower now, right? Right, a few hundred left. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Steam powered extraction. Great. Grab even more with dedicated equipment. Minus 50. Well, that's not looking any better now. What the heck? Savage Raiders. Steel navigations are good. Oops, let's come down to paddle steamers. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some paddle wheels instead. That'd be nice. Good. Crush enemy divisions. We're probably losing quite a few guys. Putting them to work is good. Let's go ahead and do Elite Slaves. We need to pick the best slave that we have to work in our factories. This will increase our production greatly. More growth. Only 5%. It is what it is. It's okay. The she was finally annexed. Awesome. And then we got to come back over there. You know what? You six divisions. You're already over here, but go ahead and help us deal with this group right now. These guys are annoying, so kill them off. Lost about, probably about 1,000. Never mind, I lost 109 versus 3,000. Uh, that's going a lot better than I thought, so... Oh, there goes the crazy horns. Advanced wall pumps. Awesome. And go and do some basic aquifers. It's barely ahead of time, so. Minus 37. We're definitely looking better now. That's really great, actually. 
Hey, did we just make another ship? Yes, we did. Awesome. Alright, so you guys have your orders to go here. You know what? I love using you, but there you go. Makes you stronger that way. Let's go ahead if you can. Keep the pressure on them. There you go. Good luck. Do we need more planes? Not really. But we'll put them on anyways, because we can. Actually, we can get even more planes now. Forgot about that. There you go. Nice. Do that too. Got some more political power. Very nice. Economic advisor, settlement builder. Meh. Anything over here? Slaving Bastardino. Meh. Let's do Raid of the Season. This actually is kind of useful. We can actually get more output. The scavengers found something. Ooh. Old World's commands. We can build military and civilian factories a little bit faster, so we might as well use that then. Boom, boom. There you go. Build some more up very quickly. Get some naval rams as well. That'd be very ideal. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll end the episode once New Victoria falls. And we can do the next focus. Elite slaves. Slaves rights. With so many of our slaves dying from mistreatment, the slaves are or yeah, the slaves are starting to get restless. Instituting more restrictions in how the warriors treat the slaves will keep our workforce nice and strong, which we get more stability as well and more population. Oh, these guys are gonna die here. Oh, we're gonna love it. Good. Oh, they're trying to invade over here too. God dang it. Cool. So we finished those guys off. You guys can all come right here. Cool. Close the patrols. Nice. Let's grab some raider flotillas. That'd be quite bueno, I would say. And that division is dead. Come on. Or those two divisions, actually. Good. Hold. Get to New Victoria. Crush them. Oh, they had to do crap like this, didn't they? They just had to. But, never the matter. It just makes it easier for us to kill their divisions off. Don't let them take North Coover. Come on. And you guys, hurry up. Just kill them all off. More divisions? Sure. Hopefully you're right there. You're not doing jack squat. You call yourselves raiders and vikings? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so we've lost 203 versus 5,000. I think that's pretty good so far. It's a pretty good war for us. Are you going to move in or not? Just... Oh, they took our capital again. God dang it. Come on, go. They have no port. Huh. Take that as well. Earl's Cup. Oh, they landed up there too. Oh, that's annoying. That's okay, though. Come on, take New Victoria. We don't have to deal with this madness anymore. We've only killed off 5,000, 6,000 enemy slaves, right? Oh, we might be done soon enough. That I'm not gonna, I'm just going to not do anything yet. I want to do the next focus once we capitulate them. And... Boom, they should be dead. There we go, my friends. We took New Victoria. By ourselves. That, that was a lot easier than I thought, but that's going to end today's episode. Tomorrow might be the last episode in this campaign in which we go to war with the Bellingham Union and the Washington Brotherhood. But let's finish up with Dawn of a New Age. Well, as long as the Broken Coast has existed, it has been at war with itself. Pirate captains have braved the blizzards and sailed through rough seas for revenge, killing friends and foe alike for caps. But a new era is dawning. The epitome of our savage bloody past and the strongest son of the frost clashed, ending the status quo. Only one emerged victorious, and when he did, changed us forever in the process, we are reborn. Cool. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we unite into... British Columbia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.